I'm going to talk about why the Pareto principle and understanding it can be so helpful when it comes to personal productivity and overcoming procrastination. So the Pareto principle, let me give you a quick definition of it here and we'll talk then about why it's so important and useful for us in terms of overcoming procrastination. Quick Google search will tell us that the Pareto principle states that for many outcomes, roughly 80% of consequences come from 20% of causes. Other names for this principle are the 80-20 rule, you may have heard of that, uh, the law of the vital few over, or the principle of factor sparsity. So we're talking about the 80-20 rule here or the Pareto principle. One way I put it is, is find out where the juice is. Find out where the potent stuff is in your day. What is giving you the, the, the greatest amount of reward for your input. So Let's take with the 80-20 rule. Look at it this way. Imagine you're trying, you're putting in effort, right? And so maybe you've disabused yourself of the idea that my procrastination is due to, due to laziness, right? That there's something wrong with me. Well, here you are and you're putting in all this effort. And the thing is, if you're not seeing uh, rewards, returns on that effort, it will be much more likely that you will sort of shrug your shoulders eventually and just say, this is pointless, I give up. Or it's too hard because it may be that it kind of is too hard unless you can find the juice, unless you can find that 20% that's really going to pay off for that input. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is what, I'm, what, I'm, what I made this video for is is to get you away out of the idea that it's basically just hard work is going to get you to where you want to be, okay? Or is going to help you to overcome procrastination or something like that. There's an awful lot to be said for sitting, reflecting, looking back on your efforts and finding out what one thing or small thing that I do regularly seems to make a big impact on my life or seems to move me forward in my life or closer to my goals or the things that I really desire. And where am I just being busy? Where am I spinning my wheels? Where am I putting in a lot of effort with not really much return? And then basically just simplifying things so that you are hitting that 20% as consistently as possible, right? You're putting in, you become way more focused on what's truly important and truly useful. Okay, so I'll give you an example. I, I, I have this, this YouTube channel, right? And um, for me, you know, sometimes I sit down and, well, what will I talk about in, in my next YouTube video? And maybe I'll write something about it. I write books as well. Um, I work with people. There's many different things that I do. But for me, it just comes down to if I sit in front of, the camera like I am right now that seems to be the thing that I'm most glad that I did I could put it to you that way right it seems for me just personally emotionally and psychologically it's the thing that gives me personally the greatest reward now that doesn't mean that it's always easy in fact quite often it's not that easy to sit down because maybe there's like this what will I talk about have I talked about that too much all these other things, second guessing ourselves, second guessing myself when it comes to what I do here on this, on, on this channel. But the point is, I have found out that if I just sit down, don't make anything complicated, don't worry about the lighting in your videos and you know editing the videos or what you're going to talk about even, just sit down in front of the camera and talk. That one little thing, that habit, that, that act done consistently seems to pay off. Okay, more so than even like planning in detail what I'm going to talk about. That, funnily enough, actually hasn't paid off that much. So 
the 20% of the 80-20 rule for me is just sitting down in front of a camera. Now you might just think about your own life. What is it that, where's the juice in your own life? Whether it be in your, your, your mission in life or, or any area of your life. What is the one thing that you do that if you do it consistently will give you the greatest return? And just focus on that. Everything else I've found kind of just sorts itself out after that because um, it's so motivating to see progress and it's, it's only 20% of the effort you're making is gonna give you the greatest amount of that progress. So the Pareto Principle again states that for many outcomes, roughly 80% of consequences or the results you get come from 20% of causes or 20% of uh, the things that you do. So other names uh, for this principle are the 80-20 rule, as we said. So a useful one, focus on the juice, focus on the small consistent things that pay off most, and that will have a massive impact on your, your motivation to keep making progress. I hope that was a useful video, guys, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself and bye for now.